I'm going to show you how you can connect ProtoTwin to the Arduino Opta Micro PLC for virtual commissioning and controls testing. I'll be demonstrating how you can control a pallet layer former. First, open the Arduino PLC integrated development environment. Select Sketch and enter the IP address and gateway address of your device. Now open status variables. We want to create five variables consisting of three inputs for the in sensor, out sensor, and end sensor, and two outputs for the conveyor motor and pusher actuation controller. After that, set the parameter type for each of the variables to Boolean. Then set the PLC type for each of the variables to Bool. You also need to make sure read only is set to false. Then click on project and compile your sketch. Now we are ready to start creating the control logic. I'm going to use the function block diagram language for this tutorial, so I'll create a new program and assign the task to FAST. Now for the logic, we want the conveyor to be on when either the in sensor or out sensor is blocked. So we'll use an OR gate function block and connect the signals accordingly. Next, insert a new network below and add an off delay timer function block. We want to set the pusher's actuation controller state to true when the end sensor is blocked. Then reset it to false after a one second delay. Okay, and that's it for the control logic. Now compile your program. Then click online and connect to connect to the Opta. And then click download code to download your program onto the PLC. The last thing I'll do, which isn't required on your end, is reboot the target device and then enable live debug mode. This will enable us to inspect the values of the tags in the Arduino software. Now launch Proto Twin Connect and open the model for the palette layer former. Open the I.O. browser and add a tag server for the PLC device. Select the Modbus TCP protocol, change the type to Arduino, enter a name and the IP address of your device, then click Save. Now click the Add button to manually add the tags. You can find the addresses for each of the tags by opening status variables in the Arduino software. Enter a name for the tag, the corresponding address which I just showed you from the Arduino software and the data type which you can leave as bit for all the tags we defined. You can click or control click to quickly create bindings for all the tags. Now swap to the bindings tab and select the signals in the model, the entity component and property. We want to bind to each of the tags. The input tags are those which get written to the PLC, which then runs the program so the Proto Twin Connect client can read the output tags. Okay, now we've set up all the bindings, we can run the simulation. Notice how when the in sensor or out sensor gets blocked, the conveyor motor's state is set to true. When the end sensor gets blocked, the pusher actuation controller state is set to true, then reset to false. After a one second delay we defined in our logic. And as you can see, the machine appears to be working correctly. And if you open the Arduino software whilst the simulation is running and have enabled live debug mode, you should see the values of the tags being updated. And that completes this short tutorial. Now you should know how to connect Proto Twin to the Arduino Opta Micro PLC for virtual commissioning and for controlling your own industrial machines. Thank you for watching.